that's entering the Disneyland Resort. Over here by Pixar Place Hotel. We need to go over here and see if they did anything on the third floor yet. Oh wow, man, they got a lot of the schematics down from the upper floors and the curtains up. But there's a lot of schematics on the lower section. Now let's see, by the end of this month, this might be complete. I saw a bunch of balloons in the front entrance, so let's go check that out. It looks like they're probably going to put a construction elevator on this side. You're walking down uh, Disneyland Drive over here on the right, and I'm parking into the neighborhood because I have no access to the structures until actually tomorrow. So we're going to go down Magic Way and we're going to go park in the neighborhoods. All right, like I say, this is the parking structure. The site's actually closed. You gotta go in the main way on the opposite side by making friends. But we're actually gonna be the parking on the side streets down around the corner on the right. And we'll be walking in. All right, there's the parking structure. I just parked on the side streets, and it's not the side street here, because that's all permit parking. Parked out back behind me. Well, there's actually access to park and you don't need a uh, permit or nothing just park on the streets and then go for a walk so we're actually walking down walnut street it's actually a little pathway up here i'm sure people actually uh utilize that little path but i'm just gonna do the straight walk tree lined easy peasy next little inlet it's gonna be over by the disneyland hotel so it's actually an easy walk especially like if you're parked anywhere right here on the far end of the structure six and one half dozen in the other like i said i don't have access to the parking structure today so just park down the road and then walk in right here's where mickey and friends parking structure turns over to pixar and pals and all this right here is actually the connection from like i say mickey and friends over to pixar and pals it looks like a building but it's actually the path you drive through to get to the other side all right just like that if you have no problem walking you don't feel like dealing with parking structure traffic or parking way the far out and then at night trying to actually you know go around the whole parking structure because if you park here sometimes you literally got to go all the way to Mickey and Friends, because that's Pixar and Pals, to actually exit. It's not fun driving through the whole parking structure. See, we're already right here on Magic Way. So we're actually going to go across the street, walk by the Disneyland Hotel sign, keep trucking to Disneyland Drive, and go down Disneyland Drive until I uh, get right across for the... Pixar and Pals, I mean, sorry, Pixar and Pals, Pixar Place Hotel. All right, here's where all the construction was for that DVC tower, and it looks like they took out a whole bunch of fencing right here, because from here to where these trucks and stuff are, all that was for construction equipment, parts, pieces, everything for the DVC tower. Now it's sexy, it's actually wide open now. Because DVC tower is done so yeah this whole area back behind there for the Disneyland Hotel parking is actually open we're gonna get a shot of this because I'm assuming within a week this will be back to the way it was so here's a close-up shot of the holiday Disneyland Hotel sign all right let's go over to Disneyland Drive straight ahead check this out this Google Maps what is this street view let's see if I get my face blurred out or not check that out some kind of umbrella on the top of the actual parking structure I've never seen that before never seen anybody hanging out up there so no idea what that is maybe I'm gonna be in uh, Google Maps coming up all right, let's go ahead this way. Let's go check out Pixar Place Hotel. 
All right, once I'm done with Pixar Place Hotel, I don't think I'm going into downtown Disney. Not much to see there. I don't have access to get above on the monorail to look down, but I did shoot a video. I think it was the last day, or second to last day, so I'll put that in pretty much here so you can see what it looked like because I don't know what it's gonna look like when I get back on the monorail. So they dug trenches for possibly pearl of sandwiches. So I'll show you that because I'm not sure what it's gonna look like. It's been over two weeks or something like that. So I'll throw that video in and then keep on going with the video for uh, all the rest of the hotels. Gateway to the downtown Disney district and the Disneyland Resort hotels. If you will be leaving us here and returning later today, Please hold on to your park ticket as you leave the station. You may reboard the monorail for a return trip to Tomorrowland. Right here's the first signage for the Pixar Place Hotel. <laughs> Used to have that one with the actual sun. And I think they might be putting in a construction elevator on this side. Actually they are. Well, maybe that's not bolts, but they need to put one on this side because how are they going to finish this side? Got the construction elevators on the other side, and they got the other side almost complete. Kind of weird, they still have the scrim going above this entrance over towards the Great Maple, which is actually closed at the moment. Right, I didn't know what the balloons were, but they say Happy New Year on them. Let's get a close up of this because this is expensive to park. Self parking daily rate is 40 bucks. Self parking, 40 bucks for the first hour and 10 plus after. Wow, man. All right, let's take a look at the Sketchpad Cafe that actually has a menu now. Some of the offerings. Hello. How's it going? All right, hey, when's this going to open up? Next week. All right, cool. I'll uh, come by and check it out. All right, they say next week. This should be open. Sketchpad Cafe. We're going to take a peek at this because it's scrimmed off a little odd. Must be doing some more remodel on this side because this room right here is pretty ancient. So I need to get this all on camera because I keep getting it on camera. But get this on camera now because I'm telling you this will not even be close to be looking like this. Right, let's get a close up of this too, because since Sketchpad Cafe will be opening up next week. But you see, out of order, out of order. I don't think they really want to fill it or fix it. Different offerings here, but I don't think this type of stuff is actually over there at the cafe. This is all self do it yourself right here. You got to scan and pay by card or tap card right here around right, minute freight elevator and i'm on level number 10 there was just a bunch of people in here and i saw some stuff i kind of wish i could have videotaped but it was behind the scenes of some place but yeah i don't need to get busted okay that's new they got a door there anyways this whole half which let's see that would be no that's the south side south side of the pixar place hotel that side is almost taken care of. And here's some windows. They're all new. Except for down right in these ones here. They're all leaning inward. So, anyways. Let's go take a peek at the... Yeah. Let's do this way. When are we doing this way? Oh, it's all the old carpet. Which will be ripping out soon. Okay. Alright, let's go all the way down to the very end. And take a peek out. All right, this camera doesn't have a real big zoom, but there's Din Tai Fung right out there. There's that building was gonna be like four businesses right there, and then right in this little section right here is for the cast members. All right, it's not 100% complete, but it's pretty much complete. You got a shuffleboard. Not sure what that game is like over in this section, but. They got the trees and the planter boxes. They haven't done the one right smack in the middle. But that is getting uh, almost done. And they got 
a new name on the actual uh, old sandbars called Small Bites. And there's a bunch of Pixar characters that were in that one construction little spot on the wall. That's taken care of. And I was just told that I can actually see the new look. Right, I'm over here in the freight elevator area. We're actually gonna go up. We're gonna try the 14th or the 13th floor. Right, we're going up to the 14th floor. If not, I'm gonna go down one. I heard you could actually see what the new actual area looks like. So let's see if this is the floor or not. Oh, it is. Check it out. Oh, oh, oh. Check it out. All right, this has got to get taken care of. I don't think you could actually go up there yet, but here it is. The new Pixar Place Hotel. It is remodeled here on the 14th floor. Let's take a peek. Not sure what that is. That might be a... I don't think they have ballrooms up here. There's some elevators. Check it out. Let's see if we can peek in this room right here. Well, actually, I don't want to peek in there. She's cleaning it. There's actually people stuff in there, but... Check this out. This looks pretty rad. Smells brand spanking new in here. Because it is. New room sign numbers. They're not surfboards. Different wallpaper than it was. Check it out. All right, so this is supposed to be done, this whole side of the hotel, which is actually the south side. There's where the construction actually elevator is, so you can't go that way. This is supposed to be done by the 31st of January. And then the other side, which I'm gonna show you right now, is supposed to be allegedly complete in, in June. All right, that tells me that was the elevator. It's a whole elevator section. Right, third floor. There's actually uh, Disneyland Fire Department people all over this place, but they're all pretty much friendly, asking questions. So they say this side right here is going to be at least six months till that side gets taken care of. We're going to take a look at this in a sec, but they're not 100% sure if this side is going to be taken care of because they said the actual grand opening for this side of the building is the 26th. All right, so here's Small Bites. And this is copyrighted music, so I'm gonna get another copyright strike, which I don't make any money doing this anyways. Yeah, check all this out, it's uh, mosaics. It's pretty rad. All right, let's go down to the lobby. Oh, this way. Right here's that floor where all the new carpet is and still blocked off. So I do have to use the freight elevator. Right, might as well get a close up of this because this won't be here in a few days either. Happy New Year from the Pixar Place Hotel 2024. Right, looks like they're having a magical night at the movies at 6 p.m. The Princess Diaries at the Grand California. Let us bail out of Pixar Place Hotel and go head over towards the actual Disneyland Hotel. See if Santa's area is still there or not. All those boxes that are in the dumpster over there look like uh, the headboards. Headboard boxes for the new rooms. Pretty rad we got to see one of the floors though that was all decorated out and remodeled. Brett, thanks to one of the firefighters that I actually bumped into on one of the floors said, hey man, the 13th and 14th floor, which he wasn't 100% sure which one it was, but so I went on the 14th and we got to see what it looks like up there, the new Pixar Place Hotel hallways. I want to peek in that one room, but yet the lady was cleaning it, but yet somebody was actually staying in it, so didn't want to snoop. Right, they got rid of the scrim that was down here. I think it's an ADA ramp. So let's uh, take a peek. And there it is. 
the new ADA ramp. But when you cross over to go to the new security right over that way. Right. It's into the, the wind zone down through here. See if there's anything new at any of these towers. Right, let's walk into the adventure tower, but usually everything's the same, so let's just take a peek. Yeah, it's all the same. Right, let's go over to the next tower. And there's my buddy again. Coonskin Cat Mickey. All right, let's take a peek in the Frontier Tower and take a look at Big Thunder Mountain. Check out the Big Thunder Mountain. Smells good in here. The scent they put off in these rooms is pretty good. We're right, exiting the Frontier Tower. Now let's go into the Discovery Tower. Actually, I want to go see if those color scheme signs that were on the bottom that disappeared is back or not right I was waiting to see what they were gonna do here and that is kind of a unique weird looking thing thought that thing lights up at some point right here's the color schemes from the inside but they did take them off to tell you exactly what these things are for and what movies are for it's kind of weird how they got rid of them all right, so let's take off from this tower. Everything looks the same, and we'll head over to Fantasy Tower. Right, I never really noticed this sign, but here's the hours of operation for Tangaroa Terrace, Tropical Bar and Grill, and Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Bar. I've only been here for burgers and a few other things, but never actually been here for breakfast. I don't think the breakfast here at any part of the resort except for the newest one that they have in uh smoke jumpers in dca actually looks all right but everything else just doesn't look that good all right let's head in towards the convention center and see if there's anything different in here just a bunch of nothing man <laughs> just kidding up oh, santa's gone all right here's happy new year let's get this on camera too because won't see it like this coming up. What the heck is this? It's all sagging over here. Oh, it says 2024 on it. Right, Christmas is out. Santa has left the building because this is where Santa was. They got a tree here. This whole area right here was where Santa was, which is no longer. You can get close up to this uh, memorabilia wall now again. All right, we're going to exit out towards the front of this fantasy tower and see if there's anything Christmas at the front entrance. 30% off. What's this? Oh, 100th anniversary merch. Right, any Disney 100 items is going to be 30% off. And even though this stuff has been out already, I never got it on camera yet. Here's a bunch of the new 2024 merch. Kind of digging the 80s style. Coloring is pretty rad. Kind of digging it. All right, that's Fantasia's gift shop. Let's go see what this carpet says out front. See if this is the holiday one or not. Yes, it is. Woo! <laughs> this thing is a rad font right here, man. This carpet had to have cost a bank to have made. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It is totally free. Doesn't this look like a coffin? 
That's weird, there's a DVC office. They can see me, but I can't see them. Right, man, hit that thumbs up. Like I say, I parked over on Walnut Street, so I'm gonna be edging you out. Over here on the far end, we actually have to have a room key to get in this area. And yes, I will be utilizing that sidewalk to exit. Got about another hour till the sun goes down and the blue lights are on the trees. Rats exit. Gonna take me right down by the Disney Hotel sign. Right, this lot is 100% open because the DVC is finished. This lot is 100% open because that DVC mock-up and all the construction stuff is gone. And like I said, the lights are on for these trees. An hour before the sun sets. And now we're right here at the Disneyland Hotel sign. Now the track back to the car, which is not a problem for me. Kind of dig it.